I'll start recording. So this is called filling sound. All right, so here we go. Um, so here I have my uh, video. Uh, again, the two things that I'm assuming is that with a, a cell phone, you can shoot some video, uh, you know, a couple seconds long. You can then either email that to yourself or Google Drive that to yourself, and then you have that video file, a .move file or an MP4 uh, or an MPEG on your Mac. You can download it to your Mac from either your Drive or your Gmail, right? So then you actually have to tell Photoshop to open it. So in Photoshop, you hit open. And right now I am looking for that file, right? Let me do that again. File open. And for me, it's in my downloads. Um, and it's called IMG something, something, something. I mean, here's one, two, six, three, seven. Here's two, six, six. I believe that's one. I'm going to hit open and then we're good to go. Okay. Now I've already opened it. All right. IMG two, six, seven. Okay. So when you open up a video file, it automatically opens it up in the timeline. And here's that video timeline, not frame animation. Now I want to show you something, this button right here, frame, 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 right? That's the shortcut to convert it to frame animation. I would not do that if, unless you absolutely knew why you wanted to do that. Like you wanted to put some text layers in over your video. I would probably do it then. But what's going to happen is if I click this button, it will take this video, which is roughly like six, min, six seconds long, and convert it into layers over here and then frames. And it'll convert it to 30 frames per second. So now instead of having a six second video, I'm going to have 240 layers over here and 240 frames in here. And that can be maddening to work with. Not impossible, but, but kind of tricky. So don't hit that unless you absolutely know what you're doing. You know that you're in the video timeline because you have this little scissors. It's like make a cut at the playhead um, and then you can make an edit. And I'm going to show you what the playhead is here in a second. This little slider bar to me is very crucial. Right? If I have a very small file, but I want to like zoom in and edit out tenths of seconds, I can go big mountain right over here. Or if I've got a really huge file and I want to see all of it so I know kind of where I'm at, I want to go small mountain, zooming in or zooming out. Right? Now, this is the playhead, this little blue trapezoid looking thing. Now, I know I had um, a student film this of me in the hallway doing this little stupid dance. Right, that if I go forward, I kind of have a, a split second of awkwardness before I'm like looking at the camera. So maybe right there, I finally make good eye contact and I start to move my arms right there. So I'm going to go right there. Right, that that's where I kind of want to start my new video. That's where my playhead is at. Blue trapezoid, red line. I'm going to go cut with my scissors. Right, so I hit that. Now I have these two little files, and, and actually Photoshop knows it made it two different layers, like layer one and then layer one copy, which is my big one. I can actually delete this little snippet that I do not want by just hitting the delete button. And now it went away, okay? Now, I do not want this entire video. That, that is too long of a video, Jeff. I basically make one silly movement. I kind of like swish my arms out and like move my whole body and then like I come back. So maybe I'll do it one more time. And then I'm back to here. Wait, too far. I want to go backwards a little bit. Now, d don't be worried if this is lagging on you. There's a lot of frames here, and the first time you edit through this, it will lag quite a bit. Now, after you've played it a few times, it's kind of like Photoshop has generated its preview enough, and it won't lag so much anymore, right? In, in layman's terms, all these little green dots and dashes is where like it kind of understands what's going on and knows what to show you where there's no green lines, it's like, I don't even know what's happening there, right? So I'm gonna say this is good, and I'm gonna chop that with my scissors, and on layer one, copy two, I don't want any of that. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna hit delete and delete that. I already thought I already hit it, but it's thinking. Okay, here we go. Now, this is my good video, right? And if I go back to the beginning, and again, it's thinking, or go all the way back to the beginning. Sorry, it's that button there, it goes all the way back. And then I hit play, the first time it will chug, right? It'll go real, real slow. It's saying right now it's showing you four frames per second. Well, we know with animation, real animation is 30 frames per second. But again, it's because it's generating the preview. Now, if I go back, see it turned all green. If I go back and hit it again, you'll probably notice it'll go a lot faster and smoother, 
right? That, that's what I'm doing. Well, I'm doing a stupid dance, right? Now, if I hit this button right here, this will tell me how many seconds this is. Right now, this is a two second and 2.13 second little video clip. Again, so if I converted this, it would be like about 70 something or 80 something frames and layers. That's, that's crazy. I'm actually ready to save this for the web. It's that simple. Now, before I do that though, I gotta resize this because right now this is huge. And if I go file save for web, it is gonna think for about 10 minutes. So let's just do it now. Image, image size. Make sure that right here, your pixels, that your highest one, which is right now almost 2000 pixels, is 300. That's how much smaller we're gonna make it. Now, here's the other thing. You gotta make sure your constrained proportions are on. See, when it's off, I got no brackets. When it's on, I got brackets and I got a chain, which means when I change this one, I'm gonna change that one. So go 300. Look at that, from almost six megabytes down to 148K. That's gonna go fast, that's gonna go smooth, it's gonna look good. Now I'm gonna hit okay, and it's gonna say you're gonna convert this. You just say yes, convert, and it's thinking. Now I went tiny, but keep in mind I'm at 16%. Now plus in, Apple plus, Apple plus, Apple plus. That's what I will look like on the internet, right? That's, that's pretty good, that's fine, All right? So now I'm gonna go file, save for web. I'm gonna just save it to my desktop so I can find it later. Now check this out, right over here. 300, right? It remembered that I wanted to call it 300 pixels. So even this has taken a while to turn it into a GIF. If you had that at 2000, you'd be sitting here for like 10 minutes, like just thinking and you would get frustrated. You think it's broken, but it's just having to process all that stuff, okay? Twiddle, twiddle our thumbs a little bit. Hopefully it'll be done here soon. And then you just make sure that it says forever and then you hit save. Now, for some reason, these video files, when they come in, it always wants to go back to once. So here we go. Make sure it says forever. Otherwise, you're going to be disappointed. Then I'm going to hit save, and I'm going to call this, like, stupid dance. Can't even spell stupid. I'm so stupid. Stupid dance. Desktop. Save. Now, you can check this out by going to find this and then drag it to, like, whatever browser you have and just checking that it works. So... Let's go find Stupid Dance. Where we got Stupid Dance? Come on now. There it is. And then I click it up into there, and I should have a Stupid Dance going on here in a second. Oh, there you go. Come on. Now this is still kind of chugging a little bit, but again, the second time, third time it does it, it will go a little faster. It also depends on your internet speed. So I've had this GIF going a little faster, a little slower. So that's how you do it. Good luck. Bye.